In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool trick. If you've tried combining data from different data sources, like the example I'm going to use is different advertising platforms. And what I have up on the screen here is Google ads and Microsoft ads. And what you want to do is you want to show them together. It, it's really a tricky thing to do in Looker Studio. So I'm going to show you a, a technique for combining data from different data sources as if you were doing a SQL union. And I'll explain what that means in a second. The general idea is that you can take, for example, data from different advertising channels. I'm going to do Google Ads and Microsoft Ads, but you could do Facebook, Twitter, etc., and show like a cross-channel view of performance. So first, let me show you what I mean when I say a union. There are two basic ways to combine data when you're working with databases in SQL. One is with joins and the other is with unions. A join comp combines columns from two different tables. So in my example here, I'm combining columns from table one and table two. And in the join data set, I've got columns in A and B from table one and column C from table two. And the way that I'm doing this is I'm saying that I want to bring in the value from table two, the column C value from table two, when the values for fruit are equal. The other way to combine data is with a union. So with a join, we're combining columns, and in a union, we're combining rows. In this example, you can see that I've got the row values from table two essentially appended to the row values from table one to create this union data set. And this, you'll also notice that I've got the same fruit value and columns A and column B in table one and table two. And this is usually the case with unions is that you have very similar data sets. So you have similar dimensions and metrics and you're essentially just joining or unioning them together, um, appending them together. The te technique I'm going to show you is how to effectively do a union in Looker Studio by creating a blend using a full outer join condition. Before we go to Looker Studio, let's have a look at what we're going to do in a Google Sheet. I've got some sample data here. So table one on the left has Google Ads data. This is just an example. I've got a couple of campaigns with clicks and then on the right, Microsoft Ads data. So now if we look at what happens when we do the full outer join in Looker Studio, what it does is it takes the columns from the right table and essentially appends them onto the columns from the left table. And you'll notice that if the column names are the same, then it'll just say, like in this example, channel table one, channel table two, and so on. So the sneaky thing we're going to do is after we create this blend with a full outer join, we're then going to use this coalesce function. So let me show you what the coalesce function does. So coalesce returns the first non-missing or non-null value found in a list of fields. In the examples I have here, the first example, the list has Google Ads as the first value and null as the second value, so it returns Google Ads. In the second example, the first value is null and the second value is a Microsoft Ad, so it returns that. Now, I could have a list of 10 things and it's gonna return the first non-null value. In this case, I just have two things. Now let's look at what that does if we use that with our full outer join. So I've added three columns to the right of the columns from my blend, from the Google Ads data and the Microsoft data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a coalesce function to each of these columns here, the channel, campaign, and clicks. I'll be doing the same thing in Looker Studio by adding custom fields, but first let's have a look at what it does here. Okay, so I've got a coalesce of channel from table one and channel from table two. So I'm gonna copy this down. Then I'm gonna do the same thing in the campaigns and clicks columns. I'll do coalesces of campaigns from table one and table two and clicks from table one and table two. Okay, 
So now we have coalesces from each of these columns and you'll see, so on the right, we've basically, we've taken the Swiss cheese of the full outer join and we've created, it looks like a union, right? So now let's uh, do this in Looker Studio. So I've already got connections to Google Ads data and Microsoft Ads data. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the Google Ads table and I haven't done any blending yet. Now I'm gonna select the Microsoft Ads table, right click, and I'm gonna blend data. Okay, this looks a little weird, doesn't matter. We're gonna edit this blend. So let's have a look at this. On the left, we have clicks, cost, conversions, all conversion value. Similarly, we have the comparable columns on the right. I'm gonna do something tricky here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a field as my join dimension. I'm gonna call this channel. And I'm gonna say Google Ads. And I need to put quotes around that. So I'm just giving it a static value for channel. Then on the right side, I'm gonna do the same thing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this. I don't know why I picked a cross join. So I'm gonna pick an, a full outer join, and then I'm gonna use that channel field as my join condition. I'm gonna save that. Everything's looking pretty good. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a filter here, and I've actually got the filter already created. So I'm gonna say Google Ads cost greater than zero. And the reason I'm doing that is just so that I've got the, I'm using the Google Ads connector and it will return campaigns with zero spend. All right, we've got everything we need. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, now let's do a little bit of organizing of our table. We don't want that revenue dimension. So this is where we start to do our coalesce. So I'm gonna create a field here. I'm just gonna call this channel and I'm going to put in my coalesce function. And then I'm gonna say channel table one, channel table two, and we'll apply that. I won't make you watch me do this for every metric, but we'll start with clicks. Use that as an example. Clicks and I'm gonna say coalesce and clicks table one, clicks table two, apply that, and we'll get rid of this spend column. Now, just bear with me for a minute. I'm going to add each of these coalesce metrics. Okay, so now I've added each of my custom fields, each one coalescing the appropriate value. I'll just show you one of these. So in cases where the metrics have different names, they just pass the different names. I changed this to a currency value since it's a currency. That's what it should be. We'll do one other thing I haven't done yet. We'll add the uh, campaign here. I'm gonna blur that out to see because this is actual client data. Do a little reorganizing. Oh, I realized that I have to do a coalesce on the campaign name as well. So I'm gonna actually remove that. There we have it, just to make it a little easier to look at. I'll give the, I'm just gonna say, make this five rows so you can see. There we have it. So we've got our Google ads, our Microsoft ads. We've got the appropriate values for each. So that's it. I, you know, I, I've used full outer joins this way a few times recently and, and I, it just started to get my head around this idea that you're essentially creating a union when you combine a full outer join with the coalesce function. I, I don't know, I, I'm just excited by what we can do with this. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, your ideas, if uh, you found interesting ways to combine the data. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please click the like button. 
I'll pop up a link at the end to uh, other videos I, I've created. And um, we to Octobers help people with build Looker Studio dashboards with Looker Studio training. So go to tooctobers.com and check us out if you're interested with getting a little help. Thanks for watching.